Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh guys in this video I am going to show you how to create google map api key in 2023 and it today is 1 august and 2023 so let's see what they have changed now because I have already created map api key and uh, the users was asking uh, the that is the old layout so now that's why I am now creating new api key with new layout of google maps API platform so let's start it today before we start please like and subscribe my channel uh, so that i get some motivation from you guys are watching my videos and uh, liking my videos and uh, yeah that's it for now so let's start how to create google map api key uh, first i will let you know that google map api key is a premium thing i mean paid thing they charge you for that if you wanted to see the prices you can do that just write this one and go on a platform pricing and api costs and then you can see here they provide 200 dollar usage every month for no charge okay and after that here you can see the keys normally when we display a map on our google maps uh, on our wordpress website we need this one maps embed api key which is free there is no charge for that then we need maps javascript api key that is costs uh, 400 requests 4000 requests it cost seven dollar and then we need i think this is the main thing because we are also using a geocoding that is a separate thing uh, geocoding api key is also being used on the site and yeah you can see the pricing here uh, but i think uh, more 4000 plus it it only charge you about uh, up to 25 dollar i'm sure about that and okay let's uh, go to google back and let's create google map api key so i write here google maps api key you need to write the same wording and then you will see this one note my point here you need to click on this link not this one this is the link use api keys map javascript api key click on that then it will take you to this page either you can click on go to credentials page or uh, get click on get started once you do that let's go for get started once you will click on that it will ask you to add let it load you can see we are in the google maps platform okay here you can see where we are because i have already accounts uh, with google maps that's why yeah once uh, once you will be here it will ask you to complete your account and add your billing details you need to click on terms of service click on continue Here it will ask you to create a payment profile and where it will ask you some certain details. This will be changed for every client because for, for every current country. Like I am from Pakistan, that's why it is asking me different details. Sorry, let's do it. then let's click on create for you from you it will ask the debit and credit card details as well like this one payment details you will also need to add your payment details i am not going to add that uh, because i do not need that uh, let's click on submit it will not let you submit the listing so i will uh, because i do not need the premium version of the key that's why i will pause this video and skip this step okay so once you will add billing details in your google account wherever you are you need to come over here click here and here you can see the projects click create new project and here you can write the name of your website i am doing any name and click on create it will create a project for you and once it is created it will start showing here currently it's showing google login that is a separate thing okay here when i will click now you will see testing i will select this this project 
this is selected now i will click here and then i will click here api and services and then click on library in the library you need to click on map and view all click on view all then here you need to enable geolocation api key places api key maps embedded api key maps java script api key simple places api key and geocoding api key these are all the keys that you need to enable once you enable all these keys on this page where uh, try to open all these in a new tab so that you should be here on this page once you are done i mean once you are done with enabling all those keys it, it is asking me for payment because i have disabled the payment that's why don't worry about that once you will add the payment at start it will not ask you again you just need to enable the uh, api keys once all the api keys are done then on the previous tab here you need to again click on these three lines and then here and then click on credentials okay so here you need to click on create credential api key it will create a api key for you here okay once you create this api key copy this and send to your developer but after that you need to come over here click on this one edit api key and then take the name of your website like let's say the name of your website is this one this columndirectory.com what you need to do is that click on websites and here click on add here you need to paste that link of the website uh, please uh, uh, note that do not add these uh, things here here it should be just domain name dot com like tolam directory dot com and then add a forward slash and then study then copy this and click on done and then one more time add that and now you do not need to add here but here uh, add static and then dot it should be static dot tolum directory dot com this is the layout okay and then click on add and one more time you need to just add your website name of the website without any commas and static these three things you must need to add don't forget about them after that click on save changes now your api key is restricted and no one can use it even if they have your api key no one can use it on their website unless you add their website in the back end here which you will definitely not do so this was how you can create an api key and restrict that so i hope this video was very helpful for you please like my channel and uh, subscribe as well thank you